Okay guys, so we're back today talking about another shape. Um, remember on Tuesday, we learned about the rectangle, or sorry, on Wednesday, we learned about the rectangle, and on Tuesday, we learned about the square. Today, we're gonna be reviewing what we know about the triangle, okay? Now, the triangle is actually the easiest shape to remember out of all the ones we're going to learn because you only need to remember three things. The, or sorry, two things. The triangle has three sides and three angles. And of course, to be a shape, the shape has to be closed. It cannot be open in any part of the shape. Okay. So we are going to call this shape a triangle. Now this triangle, okay, is not an equilateral triangle, which means that not all the sides are the same. Just like this one actually is an equilateral, or actually is not an equilateral triangle because these two sides are actually longer than this one. We're gonna learn about the definition, the characteristics, and we're gonna look at examples and non-examples of the shape. So if we go down here, we can see examples of triangles. This here is the equilateral triangle that we talked about in yesterday's um, live session. All of the sides are the same length and there are three acute angles on this triangle. Now remember, to be a triangle, a triangle does not have to have all the sides of the same length. That's only the square, which is the shape right here. Remember, we can have right triangles like this one that have a right angle in the corner. We can have obtuse angles like this one that have an obtuse angle and two acute angles. This is another obtuse triangle because it has an obtuse angle in the corner. All a triangle has to have is, again, going back, three sides and three angles. So like I set up here, it can be any color, any, um, it can be big or small, any size, it just has to have three sides, three angles, and it has to be a closed shape. So let's play the game. Is it a triangle? I'm gonna make the view a little bit less. Okay, is it a triangle? Yes, we know this is a triangle because it has three sides and three angles. The sides do not have to be the same, so it doesn't really matter. They just have to be connected, and uh, there has to be three um, angles. Is it a triangle? Yes or no? Yes, it is because there are three sides and three angles. Now, let's talk about what type of triangle this is. If we put our pink in the corner, we can see that this angle is perfectly square, which means that this is a right triangle. It's called a right triangle because of the right angle that it has. Okay, this is also a triangle. This is called a scalene triangle. You don't need to know about that yet. You'll learn about that in a couple years, but that just means that all the sides are the different lengths. This one's short, this one's medium, this one's long but it's still a triangle because there are three sides and three angles. All right, this shape we are gonna learn about next week. This is actually um, a, uh, just a parallelogram, which means a four-sided shape, but all of the angles um, are not the same. Um, also, it only, it has four sides, not three, so this can't be a triangle. What do you think about this one? Yes, it is a triangle. It has three sides and three angles. Now this may look like a triangle, but we, what we would have to do is go back and connect this to make it a triangle. This is just two lines that are put together. It's actually just an angle, right, right here. But in order to be a triangle, it would have to be a closed shape, just like that. Now we could call it a triangle. All right, are these triangles? Yes, they are. They all have three sides and three angles. Okay, this is one of those other tricky ones. As you can see, it kind of looks like a triangle, but look at these corners. They are curved, so they're not angular. They, they don't, they're not angles. So this is actually not a triangle. It's just a figure.
And you guys know why this can't be a triangle, because we see that opening here. In order to be a triangle, it would have to be a closed shape. So we would have to go back and close it. Now we could call it a triangle. But now it wouldn't be because it's not closed. So again, triangles have to have three sides, three angles. Pretty easy to remember. Thanks for reviewing with me. I hope you guys enjoy um, number jacks today. See you soon.